is a practice exercise for page 360 in the textbook. We're going to determine bond order for a simple diatomic molecule. In order to do this, we really want to draw a molecular orbital diagram. Often just called an MO diagram. Now the way that MO diagrams work is that we're going to put the single atoms on each of the sides. So I'm going to have just a normal hydrogen atom here. And we're going to think about the orbitals used by the hydrogen atom here. Thinking about the orbitals used by the hydrogen atom here. And then in the center, I'm going to think about the orbitals used by that H2 minus ion. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and draw my boxes for the atom and then the ion. So each atom is only using one orbital. So I'm just going to draw one square for each of those. Now I have to have the same number of molecular orbitals as I do atomic orbitals. And since I've got two atomic orbitals, I should have two molecular orbitals. One is going to be lower energy and one is going to be higher energy. So what we've got here is a combination of the atomic orbitals on each hydrogen. And those atomic orbitals, those boxes should be drawn at the same level because they're the same atom, so their atomic orbital should have the same energy. So I've got a 1s orbital on each hydrogen. And the first thing those orbitals can do is they can combine to form a bonding molecular orbital. And what we'd call that a sigma because there's going to be a single bond it's formed from S orbitals, so that's going to be a direct overlap. That's going to be a sigma bonding orbital, so sigma 1s, because it's formed from those atomic 1s orbitals. And then we have this higher energy molecular orbital, and that higher energy orbital is a non-bonding, or sigma star orbital. Again, it's going to be 1s, and we can also call that anti-bonding. So that's higher energy that would not be constructive, that would be the destructive, and that's when those two orbitals are not in phase. And again, I suggest you look in your textbook for the pictures of that. This is just showing you how to fill out the diagram. So the next thing we want to do is we want to get the actual electrons in there. So each hydrogen atom only has one electron in that 1s orbital, so we're just going to draw one electron. They're each going to be spin up. So that H2 minus ion is going to combine the electrons from each of those hydrogen atoms. So we're going to get the lower energy orbitals filled first, so two electrons there. Notice that even though they were both spin up in their respective orbitals, when they combine, they're going to have the lowest energy possible, so they have to have opposite spins. Now that negative charge means that I've got an extra electron in there. I can't put the third electron into that bonding orbital. It has to go up into the anti-bonding orbital because now I've got three electrons and again those three electrons are because I've got one electron from each of the hydrogens and then that additional electron there. So now I've got my molecular orbital diagram done I can calculate my bond order. In order to calculate the bond order it's a pretty simple formula. The bond order is equal to one half of the bonding electrons minus the anti-bonding or non-bonding electrons. So in this case, you should be able to see that we have two bonding electrons. We have one anti-bonding or non-bonding electron. So two minus one is one. One half of that is going to be one half. So the overall bond order for this ion is one half. And that tells us that this is not a stable ion. So remember that bond order tells us what kind of bond we have. A bond order of three would be a triple bond. A bond order of two would be a double bond. And a bond order of one is a single bond. So a bond order of one half is even less than a single bond. So that's not really a bond. And that makes sense. We know that H2 exists. So without this extra electron. But when we add that extra electron, it's not stable. It's not going to form. And this molecular orbital diagram helps us see why it's not going to form. It's not going to form because that extra electron is going to go into that anti-bonding orbital, which is going to be higher energy and less stable.